I'm just gonna do a quick update. This is supposed to be my follow-up video to the first one where I was explaining what I'm doing, kicking off the channel officially. But now I have to do a first update before getting anything else. Um, I am safe, I am in Kampala and everything is going well so far. But I think I'm gonna have to stay put for a little while so that I avoid unnecessary move which could expose me to the virus. All of measures are being put in place by the World Health Organization. If you're in Botswana, I know our neighbors in South Africa have already registered about 59 cases so far. And the rest of the African continent is registered in quite a lot of these cases as well. But right now, I'm going to get down to the video and explain the main reason of the video is why I travel and how that is going to be affected as well now by the corona. So let's get down to the video. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, jumping into like one of the really uh, big things and why am I doing this, why am I traveling the world and yeah, remember what I said in the first video, there's going to be interruptions, there's going to be some background noises, I'm sure you heard the, the birds, but let's, get, let's try again, let's try again. Um, so yeah, um, there's, there's basically it's five reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, first and foremost is just that I've just always had this passion to travel. Um, even as a child, I've just uh, kind of seen these far off destinations that look absolutely beautiful. And that's why Timo sees the world. So I've always been drawn to languages. Um, as far back as when I was nine years old, I was trying to learn Mandarin. And now I have a basic handle of the language and I'm continuing to learn more languages as I go around so far fluent in two basic understanding of two other languages and currently learning two other languages so that's english and sotswana that i'm fluent in that's french and mandarin that i have a, a good enough grasp of the languages and then the other two that i've added are swahili and Amharic, major languages across the continent and it's a cultural experience it's learning and that's what's very important to me. Secondly, I want to be able to share the experience of traveling with other people who would love to travel. Um, if you can't afford it, but you want to see the destinations, or you want to get a perspective of how these places look. And now, when it comes to more specifically why Dumu sees the world is kind of focusing on the African continent is, I've gone to travel to quite a lot of countries, um, and most of these countries were outside of the African continent. Up until I started this trip, I've been to three African countries, and now that it's expanded to six, I'm prioritizing traveling on the African continent so that I can show the African continent in the way that I see it, in the way that I've experienced it growing up on the continent. And also a chance for me to experience other African countries and see the different cultures, the different languages, and also find the similarities there because that's, that's one thing that's been very exciting about my trip so far is for me it was very interesting to find a word like Mpia, which means new, in, in Swahili has a similar sounding name in Sichuana which um, my people in the central parts of Sichuana would say Mpia and then uh, standardized Sichuana would of course refer to it as Ncha it has the same meaning as its uh, Swahili equivalent and that was even surprising for my friends back in Kenya uh, this is going to be the end of the new talking talking yes I'll continue to share stories but I will focus more on very particular things and the next video is definitely going to be on Ethiopia it's gonna be me summarizing pretty much the best parts for me of Ethiopia the food the people and just getting a chance to go to a place like Shashamani and then I'm gonna move on to other topics as well the food that's more specifically at least so for me, it's very exciting to get to tell these stories and to kind of share my side. The second thing that's going to happen is I'm going to start sharing budget tips uh, for each country. This is what you need to do to kind of keep your costs low and what's the best way to travel, the safest things to do. To wrap this up, I'm just going to say stay safe. Let's follow those measures so that we keep the health systems of different countries from collapsing because we didn't take enough precautions when we had the opportunity to eat it.
do our little actions of washing our hands and keeping a safe distance so that we can give health professionals a chance to work this out and do the things that are needed to contain this outbreak. Okay, until next time. Um, thank you for following Dino Sees the World. Oh shoot, one other thing that I've forgotten is to thank my new followers on YouTube and definitely my Patreon for giving me the support that I need to keep this trip going.